and a traditional woman That's who right. married a traditional <laughs> man Correct. who's the man of the house. I am protected and I will be fed. I used to be one of those, I'm a feminist. I want to wear the pants. I was miserable. I was a miserable, I can't say the word. Bad words want to come out of my mouth. I'm trying. Miserable <laughs> lady. In I was the, a miserable broad. Show, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> and now that I've like embraced my role as a woman and I have a man who's a man. So great, I right? feel, dude, I'm baking cakes it's and I'm great. making pizzas. I love it. And I'm decorating <laughs> so stuff. Fun. <laughs> and I'm so happy, and I like being a chick. And I, th I was more unhappy trying to be a dude. Like I could do anything a man can do. No, Ugh. I can't. I can't even open a pickle can jar. Do different things. Hey guys, this is Eddie, the African Red Pew. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we're talking about feminism, the feminism movement. We're looking at this lady, who used to be a feminist. Now she's confessing about how she's happy ever since she gave up that notion of being a feminist and how she's happily married and she doesn't even regret changing that decision. Let's get into it. When a society gets woke, it goes broke. And a broke society has no food, which then struggles and is forced Cycle. to get rid of the woke. Unless you're a prepper and a traditional woman, who right. married a traditional man <laughs> who's the man of the house. I am protected and I will be fed and you will be. <laughs> yeah, we're good out here. Do you guys think there'll be an emperor an Ameri like that the Republic will fall and an empire will form? No. Some, something is always, always formed, always. But I want to say you said morally you didn't want to talk about like traditional relationships. I used to be one of those, I'm a feminist. I want to wear the pants. I was miserable. I was a miserable I can't say the word. Bad words want to come out of my mouth. I'm trying. <laughs> lady. The, I was a miserable show, broad. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> and now that I've like embraced my role as a woman and I have a man who's a man. So great, I right? feel, dude, I'm baking cakes it's and I'm great. making pizzas. I love it. And I'm decorating <laughs> so stuff. Fun. <laughs> and I'm so happy, and I like being a chick. And I th I was more unhappy trying to be a dude. Like, I could do anything a man can do. No, uh, I can't. I can't even open a pickle jar. Realistically speaking, have you noticed that most feminists are miserable? But they pretend to be happy when they post pictures on social media, when they're in a public gathering. But meanwhile, when they're home, they cry alone at night in bed. Those are miserable people. And most of them are damaged. They are damaged to, uh, to an extent where well, like they want to recruit people. They hate, they've got so much hate in them. They are raging with hate, such that they want to recruit more people to be like them. No wonder they are like that. And they target young women in most cases. So instead of trying to do what a man can do, or instead of trying to be a man, or instead of trying to be like a man, why is it so wrong? Why is it so hard for you to be just a woman? Be a chick, like the lady has said. If you embrace the role of being a woman, you'll be happy, you won't be competing against forces which are against you because you'll be in your natural state. But if you become a man, there'll be something that will be conflicting inside of you. No wonder most people, most women who are feminists, despite being successful, despite having good jobs, despite having good businesses, they are never happy. They are hate people. Embrace that thing of being a woman and you see how you be a happy person. Just like the lady we are looking at. Look at her now. Because the thing is, if you are a feminist and you want to be in a relationship, in most cases, your relationship will never be working because it would be like you're dating somebody of the same sex. Unless you play for the other side, of course, or for the same side, of course, then you can embrace that. But if you're a feminist, and then you play for the same side, you still want to be with somebody who's feminine. If it comes to being with a masculine man, a masculine man doesn't want to be with a masculine woman. So you never find happiness because the only guys you'll be finding are the weaklings, the emasculated men who are feminine. And realistically speaking, no lady, no woman is attracted to a feminine man. You can try to justify it all you want, but in the long run, if you're dating somebody or if there's somebody like that, you end up starting resenting them. 
Well, it's great. Very different yeah, things. Yeah, it's great. Do you think women... I, I've heard that women have better pain tolerance than oh, men. Oh, yeah. Do you because think we have to have babies. So regarding cooking, you think women are more drawn to being around hot Do temperatures my hand? because it doesn't hurt them as much? That's uh, oh, oven bites. <laughs> oh, And no. I can probably deal with those better than men. Yeah, those are like almost third degree burns, oh, but geez. they're matching now. Yeah, they look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I can't be a hand Jewelry. model anymore. <laughs> I did end up with a much different view of womanhood after... Uh, after I got pregnant and after my son was born. How so? It was drastically different. Um, well, for one thing, you, know, I, you guys have heard me say this before, like I'm very I'm very glad to be a mom. I'm very grateful every day that, you know, I have my son and whatever. Um, but I just, uh, it became a very different, it just became a very different view of womanhood in terms of like prior to that, I was raised by feminists. I was raised by two feminists, a stepmother and a mom in different houses but they were both very feminist and I had this idea that you know you have to get your graduate degree before you have kids and you have to like pursue your career and all of this kind of stuff and that's like the stupid idea it turns out because I would have way more kids now <laughs> if I hadn't like so many of my friends are waited, unhappy you know like I yeah I mean I had my son when I was 35 um if I had started having kids before I went to graduate school like graduate school didn't make me happy I don't even know if I learned anything you know like I furthered the things I already knew but I didn't need grad school I certainly didn't need the debt I ended up so there are more ladies out there who've got the same stance as the lady the ladies we've looked at in this video some of them are still conflicted in their head they don't know if it's the right thing to leave the movement forget about the movement and embrace the womanhood some of them have left that movement just like these ladies have and they're happy you can do that as well if you're feminist or maybe you can teach somebody about this as well and now, now they don't tell women that 35 and above is geriatric that's what it's right. called it's, it's so right. rude yeah. no it's not <laughs> it's even true. rude no, it it's is. the it's truth it's so right we're now. lying <laughs> to women going you can have kids later no. and you can endanger yourself and your children right. so you could be selfish while you're young and it's like our bodies are designed to do that bounce back when we're younger and as we get older it's you harder. know we get it gets harder and harder so you watch someone start kids in their 20s and, and then no yeah like i mentioned in some of my videos about a woman when she turns 30, the chances of having healthy children goes down. After that, if you reach 35, you're yeah, like the lady mentioned, it's even harder because you only have like four or five percent chance of having a healthy baby. No wonder you should get married or you should start having children when you're still in your 20s. Yeah, it's and no struggle. lifestyle, no like hedonistic debaucherous lifestyle is worth those lies. No, no. But one. I mean, it's tough to tell someone don't do what I did. Like, hey, I partied hard in my twenties. Don't do that. Oh, you I, be. You okay, don't get not, to enjoy the, the wild. I totally still could have partied hard in my twenties, which I did, uh, and still had kids <laughs> sooner. Be a Midwest like, parent. You I could have been the garage even if I had been thirty, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Like, yeah. still. Because, yeah, I did all kinds of crazy stuff in my 20s, and I don't regret it, but I could have started having kids sooner. This is uh, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the greatest things in terms of reducing population. Tell women to be men. Tell them to go work. And be and, miserable. Yeah. But, you, but, they, but the, the idea is miserable. like, mm -hmm. they say, you can have it all. You can have a family and be the CEO, and that's just not true. It's not even easy for a dude to do all of these things. Very few people are CEOs, for, of, of, I should say, of Fortune 500, of big, successful companies. Right. It is, it is hard to balance everything. And what we're seeing now is for, for, for guys who are trying to have families while, they're, while their wives are working and they have kids, even they're struggling, like, which parent is going to watch the kids? Oh, the kid's got to go to a, a public school as daycare, basically. So... When it was women were raising the kid, it was easier for the guy to succeed. When both are trying to succeed in the exact same space, neither. There's an old, uh, I think it's an old Japanese saying, a person who tries to catch two rabbits will catch neither. Something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. That's basically what we're seeing. That's a good so one. look, I, you, it could be the dad who wants to stay home, fine, whatever. It could be the women who want to stay home with the kids, but someone needs to be in charge of family. Yeah, yes. that's definitely true. And women are better at it. I'm that's sorry. Right. And that's why they I, I would try to erase us now. You and they're know, like, you, you don't exist. You know why true. I think women are better at it? 
because women actually produce food for their babies. Yep. Yeah. So like, could you imagine if like the the, a mother gave birth to like twins, and then within a few months, like I'm going back to work. It's like just give the babies formula, I guess. It's like okay, well, you know, breastfeeding is an option. What formula? There is none right now. (laughs) So I'm not saying like I know certain circumstances like um, what wet nurses were a thing. Right. I'm just saying for a very long time, women have the natural ability to feed their kids. Not all of them, but more, more so than men do. Therefore, there's advantages for women being in charge of the family. This is where I'm gonna end my video. Hit like, comment on the topic, subscribe if this channel entertains you. See you in the next video. Peace.